Let's get rich. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Apple Cash in your Apple Pay wallet to send, receive, and request money. And who doesn't love money? But before we fill our coffers, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for more amazing how-to videos. So, let's say that you're using Apple Pay and you open up your Messages app and see this little black oval at the bottom, or this black card in your wallet app. Apple Cash, not to be confused with Apple Pay or um, Apple Card, AKA Apple's credit card. I guess it is a little confusing. Anyway, Apple Cash is tied to Apple Pay and lets you make purchases in stores, in apps, and online. Or you could transfer Apple Cash to your bank account. It's very similar to Venmo or the Cash app by Square, except it's tied to your Apple ID. You can send people money, people can send you money, which is kept securely on your Apple Cash card. Okay, uh, there's not an actual physical card. It's more of a metaphorical one. Uh, kind of like my Canadian girlfriend. Sure, Patrick. You'll see, Beach. Linda is real, she lives in Nelson, and she loves me! Why can't you accept that? Whatever, Patrick. Hey, so let's set up Apple Cash on our phone. Open the wallet app. If you already have Apple Pay set up, you'll see the Apple Cash card. Tap on the card, then select Set Up Now. On the next screen, tap Continue. Once confirmed, an Apple Cash is set up window will pop up. Hit continue. If you don't have a debit card on your phone, you'll be prompted to add one. If you choose not to add one, you can always add a card later, but you won't be able to send any cash because, well, you don't have any. Also, if you haven't already set up Apple Pay on your phone, take a look at our how to set up Apple Pay video. All right, so to send cash, open up your Messages app and then go into a conversation or start a new one. Tap the Apple Pay button below the message field. If you don't see it, tap the apps icon to reveal the Apple Pay button. Next, tap the plus or minus button to add the amount you want to send. Then if you want, add a message to go with your payment. When you're ready to send, tap the black circle with the white arrow. Any money you have in Apple Cash will be used to pay first. Now, if you don't have any money, the debit card tied to your phone will be charged. Also, Apple Cash isn't limited to your phone. You can use it on your Apple Watch. To do so, open up the Messages app and scroll down and tap the Apple Cash button. Turn the digital crown to add or subtract money. Then tap Pay. By the way, you can use Siri to pay someone with Apple Cash. Siri, pay Beecham $80 for his handmade quarter-scale He-Man doll. But Apple Cash, it doesn't stop there. Oh no, you can use it to request money from friends. So, if you bought two tickets to the Mill Valley Monster Truck Jam for you and a friend, you can request the $40 they owe you. From the Messages app, tap the Apple Pay button. Next, enter an amount and then tap Request. You don't have to, but it's probably a good idea to add a message. When you're done, hit Send. Next comes the fun part. When somebody wants to send you money. What? You, you want to send me money? Well, what's stopping you? <laughs> okay, so when someone sends you money, it's automatically received and kept secure in your Apple Cash. But let's talk about how to get that Apple Cash into your bank account. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. So first you're gonna open up the wallet app and tap on the Apple Cash card. On the next screen, tap transfer to bank. Enter the amount you want to send and hit next. Then choose one to three business days. If you don't have a bank account already set up, follow the instructions on screen to add one. Next, you'll need to confirm with Face ID, Touch ID, or your passcode. Then comes the worst part, waiting for your money to transfer. Pro tip! If you have a Visa debit card tied to Apple Cash, you can use instant transfer to get money into your bank account fast. After you tap transfer to bank, instead of hitting one to three business days, tap instant transfer. Next, select the Visa debit card you want to transfer money to and the billing information. Now your funds to transfer within 30 minutes. Pro tip! Now last, if you need to cancel an Apple Cash payment, for example, maybe the person you sent money to hasn't received it yet because they don't want to go to the Mill Valley Monster Truck Jam. No, instead they want to go to South Dakota on a road trip to go visit the Corn Palace. I've said too much. All right, anyway, open up messages and go to payments. Or find the payment on the latest transaction screen in your Apple Cash card. Tap the payment to see its details, then check the status field. 
From there, tap Cancel Payment. The status field updates to say Canceled. If you don't see the option to cancel, then that means the person has already accepted the payment, in which case, here comes the awkward part when you have to go and ask that person to send the money back instead. So that's it for Apple Cash, a very convenient, albeit complex system for sending and receiving digital cash. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up, and if you don't, keep your damn mouth shut. Speaking of keeping their damn mouth shut, you stop bad at my girlfriend who lives in Canada. And why would you want to go to South Dakota? I mean, who cares about a palace made of corn? Oh, wait, South Dakota, that's not too far from Nelson. So we could go visit Linda. She does exist. She does exist. What's it going to take to prove it to you? Oh.